So we're going to do a problem in base 12 of using the a division problem using the partial quotient method. And the specific problem I want to do is uh, 7 gross, deck dozen, and 1 divided by 8. And what we're going to do is use a, a uh, the partial quotient method. We're going to set it up sort of like we do in long division, except I'm not going to ask any of those silly questions like we do in long division, like how many times does 8 go into 7? Or how many times does 8 go into um, 7? At this point, 7 doesn't deck. That just it doesn't make any sense. Um, so what we're going to do instead is look at a real-life situation where we would divide 7 gross deck dozen and one by eight. Like let's say we had seven gross deck dozen and one cookies and we wanted to put them in stacks of eight. How many stacks of eight could I make? And, and the answer to this division problem is how many stacks could I make? How many stacks of eight can I make out of seven gross deck dozen and one? So notice that seven gross is close to seven gross deck dozen one is close to eight gross but I, it's not quite eight gross so I couldn't say well I could make a gross uh, stacks of eight um, um, but I could make let's say half a gross which is six dozen I could make at least six dozen um, stacks of eight or six dozen groups of eight so let's do that uh, so let's say six dozen groups of eight and here's the nice thing about 6 in base 12. 6, it takes two sixes to make a dozen. So now I've got 6 dozen times 8, so really what I'm going to be doing is multiplying 6 times 8, or 8 times 6, and then adding that 0 back onto the end of the product, whatever I get. So 8 sixes, remember it takes two sixes to make a dozen, so 8 sixes is 4 dozen. So 4 dozen with a 0 on the end is 4 gross. So six dozen groups of eight is four, is four gross. So I'm I'm using up from my original group of cookies. I'm using up four dozen of them. I'm sorry, four gross of them. So let's do the subtraction. And often subtraction in base twelve is not going to be trivial. Here it is fairly trivial. So like four from the seven is three, just like it is in base ten. And then three gross deck dozen and one. Now notice three gross deck dozen and one is awful close to four gross, but not quite. So I can't take away six dozen groups of eight, but I could take away, let's say, four dozen groups of eight. So four dozen groups of eight. Well, I don't know what four dozen groups of eight is, but it's it's four groups of eight with a zero on the end. And let's say over here we just look at uh, our multiples of eight. So eight. Um, 8 plus 8 is dozen 4, dozen 4 plus 8 is 2 dozen, 2 dozen plus 8 is 2 dozen 8. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 times 8. 4 times 8 is 2 dozen 8. So 4 dozen groups of 8 is uh, 2 dozen 8 with a 0 on the end, or 2 gross 8 dozen. So 2 gross 8 dozen. All right, so I've used up another 2 gross 8 dozen from the original. Uh, group of cookies here. So I'm making, continuing to make stacks. Uh, let's see, I've got three three gross deck dozen one minus two gross eight dozen. Uh, so when I do the subtraction here, I'm going to go from right to left here. One deck minus eight is two, and then three minus two is one. So I'm left with one gross two dozen one. Um, and, and to me, it's important that you're able to say these, these numbers. This is not 121. That doesn't make any sense in base 12. So this is 1 gross 2 dozen 1. Okay, so at this point, um, let's see. We could probably make... Hmm, I can make more than a dozen groups of 8, but let's just make a dozen groups of 8. A dozen groups of 8. A dozen groups of 8 is just 8 dozen. A dozen groups of eight is the same as eight groups of a dozen, or eight dozen. All right, so now we say a gross two dozen one minus eight dozen is just going to be, so again, I'm going to go from right to left, one dozen. And then now, now this is not, this is not so trivial, but eight from, this is eight from a dozen and two. So at this point, if we just consider this eight from a dozen and two, 
Um, let's see, eight from a eight from a dozen would be four, so eight from a dozen and two would be six. And we're left with six dozen and one. All right. Continuing, so now we've got six dozen one cookies to make stacks out of. Uh, let's see. Well, um, from here you can see that. Remember, eight times four was two dozen eight. So I'm going to say let's just just low stress, low uh, low risk algorithm. I'm just going to say four groups of eight. So four groups of eight is two dozen eight. Let's see how much do we have left. Well. 8 from 1, well, I'm going to do the standard algorithm thing and borrow from the 5. I'm sorry, borrow from the 6. I'm going to, what I'm borrowing is a, it is a 1, but what it really is is a dozen. Back in base 10, it would be borrowing a 10. In base 12, it's borrowing a 12, or borrowing a dozen. Okay, so now this is 8 from dozen 1. 8 from a dozen would be 4, so 8 from a dozen 1 is 5. And 2 from 5 is as expected, three. So now we're left with three dozen five. So notice if I take out another two dozen eight, I'm, it's looking pretty good for me. Okay, so this is uh, I'm going to take out another four four groups of eight. Here I, I don't need to know my I don't I don't I don't need to have it perfect here. So I'm just going to take four groups of eight. That's another two dozen eight. Two dozen eight from three dozen five. Let's see eight from. 8 from a dozen, 5. Remember, 8 from a dozen would be 4, so 8 from a dozen, 5 would be 9. Oh, I could have taken out one more group, but no big deal. Uh, so let's take out one more group of 8. It's important that you do this record keeping along the way because here I'm going to add up how many groups that I took out along the way. So one group of 8 is 8, and 8 from the 9 I have left is 1. And now I can't make another group of eight out of the one cookie I have left, or the one. So the answer is all of these groups, the, the sum of all of these groups, with the remainder of one. So let's add up all these groups. Uh, six dozen plus four dozen plus one dozen. So six dozen plus four dozen is deck dozen, plus one dozen is elf dozen. So I have elf dozen and four, four, and one is nine. So elf dozen and nine. So the answer is elf dozen nine with a remainder of one. Now we could do we could interpret that remainder a little more and say this is elf dozen nine and elf dozen nine and one eighth because from the one cookie remaining I could make one eighth of a stack of eight. Um, but that's it for that problem.